Close your eyes. Be sensitive to your breath as it comes in, as it goes out. And let the breath be comfortable. Make it a good place to stay. Any other thoughts that come through the mind right now, you just let them go. You just stay with the sensation of the breathing, wherever you feel it in the body. And let your mind settle in. If this were Thailand today, we'd have a huge crowd of people. It's the day after the rains retreat ends, and people come to put food in the monks' bowls. Based on a story that's found in the canon, they say that the Buddha went up to heaven for one rains retreat to teach his mother. And then at the end of the rains retreat, he came down a stairway from heaven. People were all excited. They found out where he was coming down, so they all came crowding around. And as he was coming down the stairway, they say that the, the world opened up. Beings in all the different levels of being could see one another, and the sufferings of hell were stopped for a few moments. So it's called Deva Rohana, because the, the Devas opened the world. It's too bad that doesn't happen more often. People can see there are other levels of being, and there are the good results that come from good actions, bad results that come from bad actions. People would be more careful about what they do. But so many people say, well, I don't see anything. Who, who says there's other levels of being? Who says that there, there's a life after this one? Well, as the Buddha said, you may not know. You find out in the course of awakening that there's such these things do exist. But it's good to take them as working hypothesis before then. You think that your actions really will have consequences. You're a lot more careful about what you do. As John Lee said, people who don't believe in the bad consequences of bad actions do them all the time. If they don't believe in the good consequences of good actions, they tend not to do them. And as a result, they suffer. So the Buddha was kind enough to give us this information that this is an important part of right view. Remember, he said the things that he awoke to in the course of his awakening like the leaves in the forest, the things that he taught were just like a handful of leaves. But this handful of leaves, he said, was the part that was useful for putting an end to suffering. And part of that handful was basically the teachings on karma, the teachings on the breath, the teachings on the importance of our thoughts and our words and our deeds in shaping our lives now and on to the future levels of being. So be more careful, be more heedful. Heedfulness is the basis for all the other good qualities of the mind, because you see the importance of good qualities and how they really do make a difference in your life. The word for meditation in Pali means basically to develop. So we're developing good qualities in mind as we meditate. And those qualities will then carry over into the rest of our lives. We learn to be more mindful, more alert as we meditate, but we're more mindful and alert as we go through life. We're more earnest in trying to put an effort into doing this well. And then when you see other things in life that are worth, worth doing well, okay, you stir up the energy to do that. And this way you become your own refuge. You see the goodness that comes from your own good actions, and at that point you don't have to worry about stories from the past. You see the importance of what you're doing right here, right now. And that becomes a solid basis for doing even better things. So have confidence in the fact that your actions do make a difference in your life, and that the effort that goes into doing things well, being skillful, i.e. not harming yourself, not harming others in your search for happiness, those good efforts are never wasted.